So I guess moving on, it's it's about Devin Haney and uh, Ryan Garcia. Like, let's just put it this way: I'm I'm always open to giving people the benefit of the doubt. I've learned in my time following the UFC very closely, who used USADA, which was also Floyd Mayweather's uh, company that he used, that there is a ton of situations where the testing agencies actually get things wrong, and fighters are guilty before they are proven to be innocent. So I like to give fighters the benefit. Of the, benefit of the doubt the thing is about this is that well i do i do believe in, in innocent until proven guilty okay but yeah. until they show me on a, on a drug test till they show me that he is in a, a, that there was a mistake or something to me they're, they're guilty it's not like it's a crime where you're innocent until proven guilty so let me get that straight i'm not saying that that it won't be overturned but for now he's a cheat Right. Let's put it that way. Yep, 100%. And like I said, I and I, I like to give fighters the benefit of, of the doubt as well, but you need to prove it. And the things that just don't look right about this is that Garcia, first of all, he missed weight. He was unapologetic about it. That's always a red sign. Um, I didn't hold that against him for saying that's the reason Haney lost because Haney's been outsizing his opponents for years uh, badly well, as well. Let me just say something to you. Yep. You can't go and complain about the guy who was overweight after you took a big fee uh, um, to allow the fight to go on. Yeah. Uh, and that fee was, the rumor was million and a half. I heard 600,000. I heard a million. It doesn't matter. I never mm -hmm. asked anybody. I never asked um, anybody involved. I was there. I was in the, I, you know, I had a seventh, my wife and I had seventh row seats ringside. Uh, in truth, um, it doesn't matter. When you take that money, you waive the opportunity to complain about the weight. Okay? Yep. Yep. You lose that opportunity. You were purchased. Gotcha. Okay? That right was purchased. There you go. Mm -hmm. 100%. So, but in terms of whether Garcia is guilty or not, uh, when you miss weight like that and you're unapologetic about it, that's a red sign. Secondly, when you put out his Instagram video, let me know what you think about this. I think if you're accused of steroids because you tested positive that, and you're trying to deny it, you should keep all friends out of the video and you should just have yourself first there. Of all, first of all, yep. they weren't steroids. It was a performance enhancing drug, but a steroid enhances your power and your physical strength and or your physical strength or both. And that's that wasn't the case. It was a it was a uh, a drug that helps you uh, lose weight and okay, build. So that's not yeah. a steroid, but it was a performance enhancing drug. It was a bad it was a bad substance, but it right. was not a steroid. Okay, thank thanks for correcting me there. But um, just his video, the way that he had his mates um there, and he said, I don't even know where to get steroids. I feel I've heard fighters say that before, and it's they've turned out to be guilty. I think I think this whole situation with with how he handled that video and handled the missing weight, it just points to Ryan Garcia. In my opinion, I don't I don't believe him. Well, it's I, I'm not going to go past judgment whether I believe him or not. I'm just going to pass judgment that um, he, to me he's guilty until proven otherwise. In this particular type of case, it's not a criminal act. Yeah, it's an act of something that happened in a fight. Uh, for a fight, and um, let's see if it's overturned. That's all there is to it. But I don't like his attitude to start with. I think he's a spoiled brat. I think he's a piss pot. And um, I just think that um, he's got a lot of growing up to do as a as a, as a person and as a fighter. And um, he's just not a he's just not a good person. I don't believe he's a good person. Mm. And what? Why is that? Is that because of stuff that he was saying before the fight, or? Everything, just his whole, you know, jumping from trainer to trainer, not wanting to pay this trainer. Um, what he says about uh, Oscar, what he has said about Oscar, how he tried to leave Oscar, uh, a little bit of everything. Right. Just to, you know, you know, just his whole, you know, I'm 66 years old. I was brought up in a different era, and I was brought up a lot better than Ryan Garcia. Yeah. I just never fought. Okay, I wasn't a fight. I wasn't a fighter in, in the ring. I was. I've been a businessman my whole life, right. and I just don't like what comes out of the guy's mouth. I don't like his attitude, and I just he just leaves me cold. Just, mm. I'm just not a. 
you know, I'm a fan of his ability. I can see the ability. I can see the fan appeal. And I can see the, the competitiveness in him, yes. But I, I'm not a fan of some of his... Uh, I'm not a fan of his negativity. Right. He's got a lot of negatives. As of right now, what should, um, what should Devin Haney be doing, in your opinion? Do nothing. There's nothing to do. He made his public statement and, you know, rest up and um, get back in the gym and work on your shortcomings. Okay. Um, one of his shortcomings is he doesn't throw punches that move his hands and feet at the same time. He's got to be stopped to throw punches. Dottie looks like a dog taking a piss on a fire hydrant. The reason, the reason I asked what should, um, what should Devin Haney do, I mean, because a lot, of, uh, a lot of his fans are saying that because of the damage he took in the fight, that, and, he, and again, Garcia already missed weight, that Haney should look to, look, should look to sue, sue Garcia for the damage he took. Judge, no, no, they'll throw that out of court so fast right. it'll make the, make their head spin. It's, that's ridiculous. He took he took he took money to let this fight go on, yep. uh, and he gave up that he gave, he's basically given up that right. If a judge hears that he already took money, an additional amount, they'll just throw this right out. Right, so, and I'm not saying that this is what I agree with. I'm just saying what what the fa- what some of the fans are saying. Well, good. That's wishful thinking. He can go sue, but. You know, the judge will hear about the settlement before the fight, and they'll just throw it out, even though he's on steroids. It's an athletic contest. Right. That's all there is to it.